الرحیم السلام علیکم رسپیکٹڈ ویورس لیڈیز اینڈ جنٹل مین ویلکم ٹو دا پروگرام ون فورٹین ڈائلاگس وتھ قرآن ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس سورہ قوف قوف از سیپریٹیڈ الفابیٹ دا فسٹ گریٹ انٹرپریٹر آف دا ہولی قرآن حضرت عبد اللہ بن عباس رضی اللہ عنہما ہی اسٹیٹیڈ that of here it means one of the attributed names of Allah Almighty which means Allah Almighty is supreme power and authority of this universe he is the Lord and creator and in Allah ala kulli shayin qadir surely Allah Almighty is the supreme authority over everything This surah comprises three rukus and here are 45 verses. It was revealed in Makkah. The main topics of this surah, first of all, there is belief of life after death because it was very astonishing fact. and uh, news for the idolaters, the people of Quraysh, they were not ready to accept how a man can be given new birth, how the scattered pieces of body can be reunited. But Allah Almighty has given different arguments that this process of life or death is carried on with rain, with this barren land, with this greenery, the crops, the vegetables, the fruit. and so many flowers and plants a man gets asleep just like the death he wakes up just like a new life so for the same people there are so many arguments and proof another topic is about the research of this vast universe the astrology Allah Almighty has pointed out in this surah that this vast universe has been created by Allah Almighty. It is so vast and uh, uh, great that a man cannot imagine. Even the astronauts and the uh, astronomy, especially Lord James Jeans, he has pointed out that there are countless millions and billions of billions planets and stars and so huge and greatly bigger than our small earth and they are roaming about in the space violently. No one can imagine their speed and their big volume. So it is clear that there is a Lord, there is a creator. who is the omnipotent, who, who's, who is the all-knowing, who is the supreme authority, who is the Lord and who has managed and handled all these objects of universe of nature. Another topic that is about the warning to the rejectors, Allah Almighty has pointed out that the non-believers, they would meet their tragic end, they must take their senses, they should adopt rational attitude, their way of thinking and doing all these actions, that is quite irrational. Another topic that is about the existence of Allah Almighty, Allah Almighty has clearly described that this vast universe is a great proof 
for the existence and omnipotency and final authority of Allah Almighty. Otherwise, this systematic universe will be collapsed. It is controlled by the great authority of Allah Almighty. And in the end, Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has also been advised to be steadfast in his mission and to observe patience because the non-believers and idolaters of ancient history, they had also been giving very tough and hard time to the prophets and messengers of Allah Almighty. So, you should also be steadfast and Allah Almighty will support you and in the long, long run, you will get victory and success. Thanks so much, Safi. Thank you.